TV don't even work. There you go. We are live. All right, y'all. <laughs> we had technical difficulties we had to get through. But anyway, for, let me start it back over again. It's been a long week. It's a lot to talk about. But people that's been in the chat like Jay, like the weenies, you like them dicks, so go ahead and put it on yourself. <laughs> anyway, it's the Nancast. Yes, readdress the, it. Let me readdress it to these <laughs> niggas, because since they didn't hear it, you're going to hear it again. The podcast is about everything and absolutely nothing. I'm one of your three hosts with no voice. The resident supervillain, Mr. Jay Washington. I'm with the fellas, my bros. Chris, go ahead and introduce it's yourself. It's your, your resident dark attack. Cause I'm I'm dark and I architect this shit. I put it together. That sounds like such a Chris. Chris, please, I'm right. here. Okay, with the Black Republican, which people don't say. <laughs> hey, make a nigga president has uh, now on sale at uh, at patmfjohnson.com. That's p a p p m f johnson dot com. Um, Oh, you must be still drunk for your birthday, man. Why, why am I drunk? Yeah, shout but, but matter of fact, let's start this off by saying happy belated, happy birthday to the homie Chris, hey. Chris Burns over here, man. It was your birthday. How was everything with that? It was beautiful, man. 41 trips around the sun, and we still here because, you know, we weren't supposed to make it past 25, but jokes are on you. Yo. <laughs> yo, can you to our, to our assistant producer, yo, can you hit the refresh chat so we can see the chat? Because we can't see anything right there. Just to make sure we know where the people is. There, there it go. goes. There it go. Appreciate mm-hmm. y'all. Jay sound like he on Xbox 360. Yo, we sound, we sound good. We yo sound clearly good. they can hear us now. They yeah. said audio, we loud now. Damn, y'all loud as hell. <laughs> hey, my bad. Finally. Audio loud. So we turn it down a little bit. We'll, we'll get the producer to turn it down a little bit. Um, <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, it comes in, in red and black. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Whatever you need. You know what I mean? Somebody said my mic sound like I'm in the Call of Duty lobby. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's probably just me sounding like that. Uh, how'd you spend your birthday, bro? Uh, you know, I had a, a friends and family gathering and then, uh, that was on the Friday night. The last night I just had like a very simple dinner. And then, uh, tonight we got the show of the improv and we just going to keep it rolling. I plan to get inebriated this evening. Very much so. Pap, MF Johnson, what your week was like, bro? Um, oh, you know, I was a scientist this week. Did some scientist-y things. Scientist-y things? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole new ass word. And then uh I went to I went to me and my lady, we had a, a nice dinner out uh and we ate with the uh Obamas. What? Nigga? Yeah, we was at Jones's on, on Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I I came in and I was like, Yeah, I want the corner booth. And the lady looked and she was like, Let me see if it's over. And then she was like, uh, no. Uh and then she sat me over by the corner booth. And literally in the corner booth was Malaya Obama. Oh shit! Yeah, nice, nice. They're out here, man. They all some really like black elite. But they are, <laughs> but shit they going on. I mean, I remember too. Like that, the girls are like what twenty one to twenties or something like that now. So yeah. they grown and they still gonna get Secret Service protection and all this other crazy oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So it, that's kind of dope, man. I uh, I'm glad to hear that, man. So how was it? Did you get a chance to get a picture and say hi? Be like, hey. Y'all won't see mm, nah, nigga, they was watching Black Love. What you talking <laughs> about, man? We was in a booth. And we was in a booth. Uh, it looked like it was the comedian's booth. It had like a picture of Norm MacDonald, uh, that one uh, weird nigga with this weird voice. That do not help at all. Uh, you know, <laughs> the, the one, one nigga guy. with the weird, weird voice? voice. <laughs> yeah. Several niggas. Gilbert That's Godfrey. Okay. Gilbert okay. Godfrey. Okay. I was like, there's nah, several nah. motherfuckers, bro. Um, oh, you should have gave her a hat, nigga. That would have been the <laughs> That's what we're saying. Yeah, you should have gave her a hat. Endorsement. I didn't have a hat on at that Damn. time. Damn. Yeah, that would have yeah. been perfect. Malia, if you're out there, we'll send you a hat free. We know you watch. <laughs> so, <laughs> whatever size hat you need, Pat Wiggy is going to take care of you, yo, for sure. Yeah, man. I, uh, I just got back this morning. Morning from San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. I was telling y'all this week was insane. Which I want to address. Go ahead, let's address it. I because already, already, already what you? I just heard you've been a real slut, Jay, and I just really feel like I feel like I need to address it, brother. Bro, let me tell you something. You are a, a child of Christ. You first understand? of all, first of all, you are. First of all, I am. You are a father. I am. I you know am. Okay, I'm both. You However, are an upstanding man in this community. Ne- sir, and mm-hmm. I heard you was out here first of all, showing all the ass at Comic Con. But you will not That's do that after the conversation you and I had on the way here. <laughs> okay. You will not do that to I me. Not, 
<laughs> no, you will I, not. You he, will not. You know, no, no, no. You already got an OnlyFans, okay. all right? So you already nigga. out here flexing. He got the merch on. He proud of who he is, yeah. okay? <laughs> he proud of who he That's is. That's right. I heard all week long, I seen the posts. I heard the testimonials. I heard that you was really out here. Like that uh, that that uh, big pun in, uh, interlude where he talking with <laughs> Punk Flex about heavy fucking... That's what I heard you was on, Jay. I heard you was out here sinful, <laughs> heathen, on a Sunday for that matter. Uh, if first of all, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Allow me to address, defend yourself. Allow me to address the accusations that have been brought <laughs> yeah. before me to the members of the jury, my esteemed <laughs> colleagues. I would like to say that for if there was any lasciviousness going <laughs> oh, on, lascivious, yeah. If there was a any, word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me, sir. Allow me to finish, please. If there was any lasciviousness, if there was any indiscretions uh -huh. on my part, yeah, those would all be behind a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> okay. So therefore, yes, I just had a great time. Okay. But nah, so out. nine months from now. We you gonna look, take a look at the women in the nerd and entertainment community, and if it's some little dark skinned <laughs> babies running around, I'm we gonna have another talk, brother. We gonna have First another. Of all, a lot, there was a lot more dark skinned niggas there. Come on, just me, but not, but not hoeing it up like I heard you was. You, you got me confused. Friend of the show, Malcolm was on here. He was texting me. You have, you got to get your boy Jay, man. This nigga's out here, dog. It's women just. All over the place, bro. What's up with that? Let me tell you something. Mountain Bear was telling you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a nice long conversation with Brother Barrett after this podcast is done. That's right. Jay, um, Jay was definitely clapping cheeks, y'all. Look. <laughs> if you want to know the names that I heard <laughs> that he been of cheeks he's been clapping, the super chats are open. You know what, you what I'm saying? So if you want slut. names... Situations, or just for my birthday in general, if you want to just show some love to the show, super chats are open. Anyway. If you want to make a donation towards these hats, you know what I mean. If you want Jay to take his shirt off so you can see what all the women at Comic Con was doing, you know what I mean. With super chats uh, open, no. Slammy Jay at Comic Con. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Get up. it in. That you was a. That's your weekend. Go that's so, your weekend to go crazy. So his, his thing. Go slam. <laughs> that's so right. his thing. So check it out. So during. <laughs> so on Thursday we had Malcolm and friends. It was Malcolm Barrett's first panel. Which yeah. Shouts out to everybody that came out the room six a. Malcolm was nervous because Malcolm was like, oh, I don't think nobody gonna come out to the panel, and he didn't realize that the room they had gave him holds 700 people. Yeah. So he was like, yo, ain't nobody going to really Maybe show he up. on the boys. I had to keep telling this nigga yeah. that. <laughs> it was him, Claudia du uh, Dumit, Jesse T. Usher. His flight was delayed, so he didn't get into the next day. Um, but it was me, Danny, Fantastic Frankie, Eugene Bird, Damien Portier, and Malcolm. The panel, the room packed out all 700 people. Mm. So Malcolm and I was like, yo, he was like, yo, he told me the day before, he's like, I need you to do some type of wrestling move to me on this panel. Ooh. And he was like, I don't know what. He was like, I don't know. You know, I don't Press know. Press play. It was like, all right, we'll figure out what it is. So Mike Black, shout out comedian Mike Black. We see him at the store, bigger dude. Oh shit. I, oh yeah. yeah Mike's Mike, nigga. Yeah. So Mike oh. comes up during the QA portion of the show out uh, of the panel towards the end. Mike says, Hey Malcolm, I know you're a comedian. So whatever. This question is for Mr. J. Washington. When you were a wrestler, what was your finishing move? And I was like, oh, let me show you. So I just got up and picked Malcolm up in the Welcome to Chirac and did the swing of Uranagi. Okay. And Matt, it was like, oh shit. And so, but the panel was dope for that. Um Friday, so I, then after that Thursday night, I hosted the I co-hosted the second after party, official after party, <laughs> the anti-hero after party. Me and uh, Straw Hat Goofy, aka Juju Green, we co-hosted that. Fun times for that. Friday, the Blurs hijack the Black Panel. The Black Panel has been a thing that goes on every single year. Yeah, I remember that shit. But the, nobody showed up. Mm. No, no moderator, no panelists. So <laughs> members of the Blurs was like, "Well, fuck, let's get up there." So we hijacked the panel. What's the difference between the Blurs? panel and, and the black panel. So the black panel is just black, you know, the blurs is the be like nerd panel. That's really it. The black panel was just supposed to be like black people who were doing shit. Shout out Ravens 5220. <laughs> they started calling Comic Con Geek Nick. Yes, it You're is. Absolutely right. Yes, it absolutely is. Absolutely right. Bro, but I'm gonna tell you, Comic Con, it, it's that this is how it goes. It goes um Blur Con, no, it goes Dragon Con, Blur Con, San Diego Comic Con, as far as Geek Nicks, when they talk about the way the parties go crazy. Pap seems skeptical. Bro, did I show you the debauchery from BlurCon? Oh, and bad news, Buck. Okay. I'm very black, so I don't even have Venmo. But I you can drop mines. You it's, can do mines. It's, it's Mr. J. It's, Washington. Uh, dollar sign, Chris, please. 
no space. Um, it's just dollar sign, Chris, please. That's what I got. I so I then Friday it. night we had Friday, like I said, Friday after we had we did the, then we had the blur panel. Shouts out to all the blur brunch members, man. That's my that's my family. Shouts out Dan Evans who moderated it. Event Nicole Brown who was there. Malcolm Baird, myself, Mark Bernard, and Jason Johnson, Fantastic Frankie, Eugene Bird, and Sujata Day and Kevin Avery all were on the panel. Great panel. We had the room every year. The room was packed out for that. Then we had the Blurred and Bougie Party sponsored by Amazon. Uh, that night, the culturally rated part of Amazon Prime so that's Video. That's another thing I want to touch on. So, so have how do we come together? Why do we need a distinguishing mark? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the term African American. You know what I'm saying? It's very exclusionary. So you I feel about like to ask this whole blur thing? Time. So I'm like, no, nah, because I'm it makes it why. seem like nah, I'm the whites why. are the real Americans. Nah, no, right? here's why you need to have. So why do you need to why? be a blur, my brother, why. when no, we no. can't all just come together right, look, under the umbrella excuse of me. geekdom excuse me, and enjoy Farrakhan. our costume fucking enjoy? Excuse me, excuse me, Minister Farrakhan. Listen. Listen, Gazette listen. reading. No, this is why. This is why. Uh huh. Tell because, me. Because you know, for years, the years when it started, when black people were always always shown to be a part of nerd and geek culture. Uh huh. Every time a black person dressed up as any character that wasn't black, you were black Thor, black Hulk, black etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. So. The term was I mean, like, yo, there different. are also nerds who are black and brown, henceforth the term blurred. But it got so it, it stuck. Now, granted, there are always going to be some black people like, oh, well, we don't need this term. It feels, as you say, exclusionary, but it's not. What it is is a celebration of the black culture within these geek, nerd, and anime spaces. And so that term will always stand. And I'll always be a proud bird, blurred, phenomenal blurred of that, which drops August 25th on my YouTube channel. That's my special, by the way. Phenomenal so, blurred? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. All right. Damn right. So. Black Thor sound hard in the motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it does, <laughs> but but the thing is, why did we have to be? Because you're not going to tell anybody they're Mexican Thor. You're not going to tell anybody they're Asian Thor. If they're just is, Thor. If it was a, mm -hmm. like white dude dressed as Blade, they'd be like, look at white <laughs> Blade. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. They not. They not though. No. So, but that was Friday. So nonetheless, or, or if a white dude was Black Panther, you have questions. There was, bro, there was a. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you something. The year Black Panther came out, yeah. I remember being at uh, WonderCon in sure. Anaheim and there were literally a bunch of white kids dressed up as Black Panther. Uh huh. And it was crazy because it was like you saw the parents with them and you know, you have you start questioning and wondering, was the parents like, okay, this is what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Or were they like, hey, aren't you sure you want to go towards Spider-Man or something? <laughs> like they tried to switch them over, but <laughs> nonetheless. It's, it's a new age. You know, white boys was trying to rap. Now they want to dress like mean, black people. Right, you know what I mean? Nigga got a whole raisin canes off of, 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 <laughs> of a white ivory suit. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. So, yeah. So we good with it. Friday night, like I said, was the Blurt and Bougie party. Shouts out to the uh, cast of the boys who came through and hung out with us. And everybody just showed was up. Was Laz Alonzo there? He didn't come through to the Blurt and Bougie. Which was Laz Alonzo? Mother's Milk. Okay, yeah. He came through last night. He was there last night at the EW party, which, see, this was the dope thing for me. So the Blurred and Bougie party was the number two most exclusive party to get into for all of Comic-Con. Number one is is it every year is the EW party, which shouts out to everybody who made that happen. I was at the EW party, me and the Blurs. We got to walk the red carpet, get together the image photos and shit like that. It's a good look, a good vibe. And that was amazing because you're just kicking it with all these Hollywood A-listers. Like you literally just partying with, and everybody just ain't nobody acting brand new like they're a celebrity. They don't want to talk to nobody. Everybody just chilling, so drinking. Like the comedy store, it is yeah. nothing like wow. that. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow! I just had to realize that. Jesus really. Christ. Uh, 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 that's a little. Uh, we call inside baseball for Bro, you kids. That's a little bit of pulling back <laughs> the curtain be real the, quick. Uh, the comedy community there. But yeah, man, chilling with all these A-list stars who are just like, yo, we all just chilling, just joking, laughing, kicking it, having a great time. Everybody, and then afterwards, we all keep me, the Blurds, and the cast of the boys, we all hung out to like three in the morning. And so it was just having a good time with that, man. That was all these vibes this yeah. weekend. I kind of miss Comic-Con a little bit. I haven't been in several years because usually Montreal is happening at the time. And then before Oh, yeah, that, they are same. They, are, they do run the same time. It's always the same weekend. And so the last few years I've been out there, but now that Montreal ain't a thing, I, or it might be coming back, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. But you, you, we ran into each other at Comic Con once. I remember <laughs> I got hugged by a Sasquatch, <laughs> and I was like, "What in the actual fuck is going on right now?" I look up, I'm near the Scientology booth, and I'm being hugged by some uh, furry motherfucker, and then I hear 
yeah, nigga, I got you. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's first of all, first of all, suits. them, word, them words guy. behind you just, yeah, nigga, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Even though you know it's so like, nigga, it's, it's, it's please God be pap. That's your whole title, please God be pap. Yeah, what, is, what, what are your some fond memories of Comic Con's past? Oh, uh, yeah, I used to be John Travolta. Uh, <laughs> for Scientology. <laughs> Yo. No, no, that's not the. You, wait. Wait. The character side that John Travolta played was the same? Yeah, okay. Battlefield, whatever. The, yeah, the well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's who I was. Oh, Battlefield to, Earth. Yeah, well, yeah. That's who I was. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At Comic Con, I was the, the book version of that. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and they, they paid me to just like uh, bring people over to the booth because mm. it was like the 25th anniversary. Um, of uh, the philanthropist uh, L. Ron Hubbard, that's what they call it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah there's, no, there's no other words you can use for L. Ron Hubbard in, right, in right, the world right. of science. Remember when TK was in here and said that? Uh, no, let's not do this. <laughs> let's not run that back. <laughs> let's not. For those who missed that. L. Ron Hubbard told him he had an idea hey, to start a fucking hey, religion. For those who don't know what we're talking about, please <laughs> go back and watch the episode where we had TK Kirkland in here. This nigga swears he was present at the origin of, <laughs> of, of Scientology. Scientology. <laughs> Hey man, that shit was fun, man. They let me just choke people. Yeah, it was yeah, nice. yeah. Was, yeah, that was your job. No, that wasn't my job. <laughs> oh, right, my no, job no. was supposed to like wave people over, but then people kept thinking I was Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna be evil Chewbacca. So I started choking people and acting like I was killing them. <laughs> just and walking up on just, Yeah, it was a line of motherfuckers just women wild because they run up choke me choke me like, like, yeah, yeah, chill out like, chill out chill out chill out hey yeah, chill yeah. out ma'am let me introduce you to my friend Jay yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, your husband right here right? <laughs> let me tell you one of the wildest cosplays we saw yesterday yeah. and nothing to beat it there was a dude black dude about Pap's height a little bit taller mm-hmm was big like Michael Clark Duncan was. Yeah, dressed as Michael Clark Duncan in the green oh, mile. Hell yeah. <laughs> Here's the problem: he did the slow face. Uh-huh. That dude had the face. <laughs> that to do the face. Yeah, he the, but he had shackles on his wrist too. We was like, "Yo, <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now?" Me, I swear it was me, Malcolm, our buddy Dan, our buddy Kevin. Kevin was trying on a jacket. But Dan, Dan turned me, told me and Malcolm was like, look. And he was like, I can't look. And we both looked up and me and Malcolm was like, what the fuck is happening? I thought he was dressed as Nat Turner with y'all. No, we knew who he was. <laughs> we knew who he was, but uh-huh. it was just like, are you fucking serious? Like he That's did, beautiful. Yeah. That, he was a super, yeah. John Coffey was a superhero. Uh, it's time. Yeah, uh, you know okay. I mean? I mean, yeah, he's supernatural. Yeah, both. Yeah, yeah both. Nah, that nigga, when both. he grabbed hold of Tom Hanks' meat. That's supernatural. That's not a superhero, nigga. Yeah, that's a superhero to me, boss. Yeah. I'll take it away from you, boss. I'll take it away from you, boss. Did that's, he look like, a, like Fat Drake? Who? Y'all ain't seen this uh, Drake impersonator who <laughs> <laughs> fat as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting booked. Yeah, he, he, getting, no. booked. he gets booked to go out in the world as Drake and perform songs. And Drake just put him on his Instagram, I think yesterday, with a caption that says, Sometimes you got to pop out. <laughs> the shit is beautiful. The shit is actually Shouts beautiful. out to Queenie. She says, I'd like, I need to see Nan at DreamCon. Shouts out to DreamCon. What is DreamCon? R- RDC uh, and them. RDC. The, the Supreme Dreams dudes. Um, what's I'm, his name? Mark. Phillip? I'm not deep. Okay. I'm the, not plugged I'm, into the world. No, no, no. The, the dudes the that do like all the sketches. The nigga that did the LeBron. LeBron sketches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. They have their own kind <laughs> all right, all right, all right. in Austin, and yeah. it was going on this this weekend as well. And that was the crazy thing. It's like there's so many major. There's so many in Austin, like, Texas. Yeah. During Comic Con. During Comic Con weekend. Oh, so okay. you're splitting people. Yeah. From going to one or the other. Sure. Like some people are gonna be like, "Yo, I'm going here," but like the people who are star stars. Are gonna be in San Diego. Yeah, nigga, that's it's got the machine behind. It's it. It's got the machine right. behind it, <laughs> but it's but a DreamCon is still, is still a big one. Why? But you, okay, what's the what's the premise of DreamCon as opposed I, I don't, to, to Dream Comic-Con. niggas that's dreaming to be at <laughs> Comic Con? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's if they can slept on getting tickets. <laughs> in Let time. me tell you something. This was actually the first time I'd ever heard about it was this year. Yeah, I yeah. only heard about it from Roxy Hayes because Roxy was like, "You are gonna be at DreamCon?" and I was like. What the fuck is DreamCon? Yeah. She was like, it's the RDC World thing. And I was like, when is it? She was like, she told me the weekend. I was like, yo, that's San Diego weekend. She was like, so I was like, I'm gonna be at San Diego. So yeah. how many years has uh how how many years has BlurredCon been around? Eight. This was his eighth year. Eighth year. And, and it's where coming, was that? 
DC. DC. Oh, okay. DC. And they're, they're doing it early next year because of the heat that it was so hot and humid and people were passing out from dehydration. So next year. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to niggas and I have no proper AC. <laughs> bro. People were pa- no, it was like. Shade night- Bro, shit. no. Real talk. Like outside at, at DC during yeah. that weekend, it was 97 degrees plus Jeez. immense humidity. Yeah, of course. So niggas East was Coast. Like, the East Coast. I feel you, but I, I, had, I had a little scare uh, uh, last week. But, you know, I was drinking. I was smoking, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. That's <laughs> Thing. You know, you know why the, I was. The, the elements, nigga. That was, but yeah, so we do it too much. <laughs> but uh, they're moving. So because of the weather, they yeah. are changed. So dream, no, dream, blur con for next year will be in March. Yeah. So they're gonna do it earlier. It's gonna be in March of next year. And next year's it's gonna be horror thing because this one was summer madness. The one in March is like the horror theme one. So if we did a, a nan panel, it would actually work. I'm telling at, you. At at blurred con let me tell you or something. SDCC, who would who would have to be on the panel with us? It besides would, uh besides um Wesley Pipes. Prim. <laughs> Prim. Who where the fuck is Prim? No, I'm, and I'm gonna tell but here, but no no, and I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. So many people came to me, shout out to all the fans that came up to me in San Diego who were asking where was Prim. That's the same question we asked. So, <laughs> but I say that because like because of him being like a guest would draw so many. So like that'd be like so Robert many. Downey Jr. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> our that would be our Robert Downey Jr. No, that'd be like when uh when New Girl brought back David Wade. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Pain yeah. and Lamar was just like <laughs> one Speaking of, of which, when are when's Malcolm and Lamar and go fight to the death? Because there can only be one. Nigga. No, let me tell you most of it. <laughs> yeah, just wish, like, no, like Langston Kerman no, and I got one better. Uh, what's up, boy? Uh, Tony, why am I tripping? Are you talking about Tone Bell? Tone Bell, <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. God, <laughs> nah, bro. Let me tell you something. Be one. No, I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't even gotta be. It ain't Malcolm and Lamar. And this uh-huh. is the. Tr- I wish to God Ooh. Malcolm could be on. He's filming some shit right now. I wish he was on the show. We would walk in. Me and what him is he will, filming, Jay? I can't tell. Ooh. I can't talk about it. Oh, oh, oh. tight <laughs> lip J now. Huh? Yeah, so we were walking to, uh, we were walking over from the convention center <clears throat> to the Grand Hyatt, and these young dudes they stopped. They was like, "Oh shit, oh shit!" And we, Malcolm was like, "Yo," because he's been getting stopped all day. People know from Timeless, Better Off Ted, and <laughs> Boys. They was like, "Yo." It's Dave Chappelle. <laughs> and Malcolm was like, no, I'm not. And these kids was like, nah, nah, you Dave Chappelle. You Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Malcolm was like, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not Dave. He was like, no, I know who you are. And so it was like a bunch of like mixed kids, a couple Mexicans, and maybe one black kid. And Malcolm just yelled, yelled out, y'all need to get more black friends. <laughs> and they just shut down because that's when they realized, oh, shit, it might not be him. Well, that actually sounds like some Dave would say. Actually. But I told him y'all need to get more black. Should have got some tips, bro. I'd have been I'm rich, bitch, and all through the convention center. So here's the here's, fuck all that. Give so me here's the crazy thing. Say hey. whatever you want me to say. Here's the crazy thing. I know Mike. So for those who don't know, like Malcolm and I have become real good friends, and Malcolm does it sometimes, and I love him to death. But this Malcolm does not realize the height of his celebrity sometimes. Uh huh. And Malcolm didn't understand. He was like, man, I don't think nobody gonna want to see again. Like I told you with the panel. Yeah. But every five steps. Somebody is stopping this dude mm-hmm. to take pictures and all. And we're like, bro, you should have a booth. <clears throat> you should be doing signings. And he was like, no, nah, I don't think nobody would. And the moment we having this conversation while outside walking, more people stopping him and stopping him and stopping him and stopping yeah. him. But the fact that it was just like, he caused so much love. And I think he realized how much he, he is celebrated. And I always gonna show my bro love on that. I show y'all on love on shit. But it's like, it was so crazy for him not to realize it. But it was like, yo, I love you and the boys. But then it was like, the the whole sexual fans that are timeless fans like that I told we I brought up you it was like that's how Pap knows you <laughs> Pap is like yo timeless <clears throat> the nigga excuse me timeless. that's the dude who's timeless <laughs> and so it, it's crazy to see that and just to be a witness to that and it actually is it's inspiring. <laughs> Dynamite is wild. It was wild. <laughs> but it's just Because I think he used to do that shit. Fucking uh, JJ. Uh, JJ, yep. Yeah, Walker. Walker, he was, he hated having to say it because people would come up to and him in airports and shit. Yeah, he would make so he'd be like, you got to break bread if you want me to say this shit. So, so he, he used to hit the dynamites. He still do that when he. So when people unfortunately watch him at comedy shows, and I still say unfortunately. Damn. Man, why I, you just say that? No, there's there's no secret about this statement I'm about to make. Ooh, I hate wee. Jim. I hate Jimmy Walker with a personal what? fucking passion. Why you got beef with That's Jimmy Walker? That's the most Walker? self-hating, undeserving ass coon I've ever met in history. Whoa, How dare you talk news. about my no father like that? <laughs> yeah, that was insane. <laughs> nigga, fuck your daddy. Anyway, Whoa, fuck what, that nigga. What happened with From the JJ? bottom of my heart, I hate this what nigga. What happened with JJ? So years ago. They brought him out to uh, Riddle's Comedy Club when God I was. Damn, okay, yeah. And so, first of all, like the majority of his audiences are always white. 
Sure. No matter who, no matter, but no, he's a black icon, but his his audience is a white. Well, right. In fairness, with Good Times was popping because Good Times was a was a what's oh fuck who's the dude who made all them Norman shows? Lear. Yeah, isn't it a Norman yeah. Lear show? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. white people watch them. Yeah, shit absolutely. Big time, but. Like you would think black people come see him, right? Normally. So typically that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, So yeah. I didn't know that that doesn't happen. So during the show, black people actually came to show up. First uh -huh. of all, he was like, oh my God, there's black people here? Uh -huh. Never would expect that. Was shitty to the host in the feature. So then after the show, again, people want to see him take pictures, et cetera, et cetera. Uh -huh. Some black, older black women wanted to take pictures with him. Yeah. And they were nervous and they were excited because you know when you see somebody you've been a fan of your whole life, he was like, oh, this is why I hate taking pictures with black people. Because the lady couldn't get a camera together. She was so nervous. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, my God, I love you, JJ. He was like, it's Jimmy. But that's how she she knows you. Yeah. And he was like, can you say dynamite? I don't say it unless you fucking pay me. I was like, bro, you are an asshole. You hey, are an man. asshole. But I mean, if. No, no, fuck that nigga from the bottom. Yo, I, there, there's maybe three celebrities total in this world that I hate so much. Fuck this nigga. It's been 50 years nah, or so. I've hated this nigga. This nigga to say dynamite. I've been Coleman hating this nigga didn't want to say for 15. Hey, I mean, what you talking about, Willis? I've been hating this nigga for 15 since I've been Damn. doing stand up. And also, I'm I'm a, I feel bad for JJ too, because I'm gonna tell you. I feel too. bad for shit. Well, that, nigga on, 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 relax, relax. that nigga was fucking ant culture. That nigga get every disease and everything he deserves in life. Whew. Cause one time I seen him at an airport, right? Mm -hmm. And me and my uncle was like, yo, that's JJ Walker over there. And the nigga didn't have no luggage. <laughs> and the nigga had a plastic bag. And we was like, damn, nigga. That's this motherfucker got no luggage. What kind of grown ass man ain't got no luggage? <laughs> Especially when he's been on TV, he got like he could have went also, to let's not various people in the airport and got five dollars to say dynamite <laughs> to go to one of them uh, Samsonite stores. Now or here's something, something I will say and get a fucking here, here's carry something, on bag. Nigga, here, here's shit. something I will say though. No, when you see people on TV, a lot of people assume automatically because somebody's been on a TV show, etc., or just a bunch of movies. They yeah, yeah. got no, money. I know how I go. Yeah, you, you know, again, I'm talking about, I'm talking about for the for the listeners and the viewers. Yeah, some people don't get that. Some people think like, yo, you've been on all these shows. You heard Monique talk about she wasn't getting no fucking money from the Parkers. Yeah, she ate it up. You know. What I'm <laughs> No, I don't feel bad. No, don't get. <laughs> I don't be feeling bad for big fat celebrities. I don't, cause I be feeling like, yo, you can afford the training and to eat well and all that other type of shit. That old yo yo and shit. What the fuck we doing, dog? Man, all right, let's man, you you just seen craft services. I was like, <laughs> they got be all good the in the motherfucker. They got all the cookies. Look at what you mean, man. All the candies you want. That's true. Jesus that's just hard. It's tough. Y'all got any more Snickers back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, assistant producer, real quick, just so you Take know, in this, mommy. real quick, in this, in, if you can see the, the screen, the main screen, I know normally the chat pops. Oh, there you go. I was wondering why the chat wasn't showing up there in that in that box on the screen. I was just making sure of that. But uh, let's talk San Diego. There was one. There was some big things that happened. Big things. So Deadpool and Wolverine dropped this weekend. Did, but Pap, you didn't see it. It's fine, nigga. So we going. All right, I'm just asking. Can nigga. I be considerate to my nigga? I, I I hear you, but it's not going to be a spoiler to me to see. The superhero niggas win at the end. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying it's it's hella cameos, it's hella it, shit that happens. So Deadpool will <laughs> ring is mainly mainly about the cameos yeah, more than yeah. anything. Okay. Ain't nobody worried about the story yeah, of Deadpool let, 3. Yeah, I was gonna say, let me guess. Uh Deadpool be dying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wolverine be killing everybody, <laughs> yeah. raging out. Um yeah, that's about it, right? Niggas wasn't going there for the the the, the plot. I, <laughs> that's, I heard, that's not why you I go to Deadpool. Got, uh, is the don't the villain got alopecia or something? That's hilarious. <laughs> Said the villain is Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> nigga, nigga, the villain is Cassandra Nova. Yeah. She's Charles Xavier's twin that manifested in the womb of See, I told you this bitch ass nigga, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> See, man, this nigga you about to go on a JJ Evans rant man. about Charles Xavier. <laughs> I just mean you see all these secrets this nigga be having, man. Oh Nick, yeah, he killed he kills his twin sister in, in the, the womb. womb. Because he senses she's gonna be evil. Yep. But she's so powerful that she's able to make a body for herself later in life. And but she's a sociopath and obviously wants to, you know, I kill mean, everybody. Her brother did kill her in the world. Exactly, like, right. Seemed yeah. like she the, her. the biggest thing about <clears throat> excuse me, the biggest thing about the movie is the inclusion of certain people. And the biggest surprise, the biggest I can say spoiler alert, whatever, but yeah, the yeah, person who's in it. Fucking I'm gonna say this Deadpool one thing. It's only this one thing, because it's the one person, the biggest cameo. 
was spoiled by that person, which I love him to death, but I get like, bro, you can't be doing this. So if, if you haven't heard, Wesley Snipes is back as Blade. Yeah. And yeah. how did everybody find out either way? Wesley Snipes himself posted it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as they made, because at Comic-Con, what they, they did was- come see me. There was a Deadpool panel on Thursday, and it was the panel was two and a half hours long, and everybody was like, I wonder what they're going to do. And I was like, show the fucking movie. Yeah. Why else do they have a two and a half hour panel? Yeah, they're showing real. the movie. So they showed the movie, and then afterwards they brought out all the cat, the cast with all the cameos and shit like that. And Wesley took the video and reposted it himself, and was like, "All right, bro, you got it, cool." Hey, <clears throat> he he ain't had a lot to brag about in recent years. Like yeah, we saw coming to America too. Yeah, yeah we did. What else? Yeah, we did. What other like recent Wesley Snipes thing were you like excited Expendables about? Expendables three. What four? Is he in that? No, he was in three. He's in three. Okay, he was in three because that's when they let they broke him out of jail and they was like, "What was you in for?" He's like, "Tax evasion." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no! Ooh. Come on, Dino, you don't yeah. be better than that. You have to make them jokes. So that's hilarious. <laughs> but Deadpool was the thing that. What happened. was his name in uh, Undisputed? In the, when he's in jail oh, fighting shit. Vic Ray Mass. I'll pull it up. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> that man. was a great one. Nigga verse nigga. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Monroe, I think it was. And that goes back to what we were talking about beforehand. Like, Wesley has played some of the, like, most lit fictional fighters. I mean, Wesley is really good at acting. Yeah. He's a he trained was, actor. He's a damn yeah, good for actor. Sure. He, he, I know I know the chat don't like it, but he was really good in Too Wong Fu. Oh, Max, nigga. Maxima Jackson. <laughs> I, actually, I actually got a, a Wesley Snipes tribute shirt up on uh, Pat motherfucking Johnson. Is it just kind. a black shirt? It's a uh, no. Eyes? It's it's all the it's <laughs> all the are memorable. You so uh, disrespectful. <laughs> I just said you are so disrespectful <laughs> on so many levels. It's a black shirt with his chain from from New Jack City. Mm -hmm. I'll bring one tomorrow. Uh, next show. Cancel but, that bitch. Yeah, it's just all the Wesley Snipes memorable characters. You yeah. know, uh, the nigga was uh, Willie Mays Hayes. That's right. Nino Brown. That's right. Yep. Um, to, to Passenger Fifty Seven. So Simon know, Phoenix. Phoenix. Whatever his Simon name was. Phoenix. Simon Phoenix. He was Monroe I, Hutchin. Monroe yeah. Hutchin and Undisputed. Ooh. Okay. And then my favorite is when a nigga had the silky press in, in U.S. Marshals. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. yes. God. When a nigga had the hair draped down yeah. with the suit. Yeah. yeah. When he was Mark <laughs> Sheridan. Yeah. And then niggas forget the murder at sixteen hundred. Yeah. yeah. Art of, or yep. Art of War. Art of War. Absolutely. Art of War is a damn good movie, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Or, so. you know, when he, he was my hero in Jungle Fever. I love, I, she was, at the time, at the at the time, at the time, he was my hero in Money Train. I was like, yeah, you better. Hey. Yeah, you be yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Stand up comics used to literally have bits about how Wesley was fucking in every movie he was in. Yeah. Every, it seemed like he had a clause in his contract that I got to stroke these. Mo Better two. Blues. Yeah, like every Jungle, yeah. movie, he, somebody getting these strokes. You he didn't, he me? didn't in uh, White Man Can't Jump. Huh? He doesn't fucking White Man Can't Jump. He does when he come back with the checks. Yeah, what you talking about? Oh, yeah, about? he does. You're yeah, right, he does. He was, you're right, throughout he does. the 90s, right, Wesley you're right, you're was right, you're working right. them hips. I saw it only, I kept it, I was like, Billy did. No, he did too. But what's the point of being <laughs> top billing if you can't pick out the co-star? Facts. Like, so, uh, Nigga, we all saw that show with The weekend and, <laughs> and Lily Rose Depp. He was like, hey, I want to. you got to go. I want to. You got to go, bro. You got to, bro. It's you real. Go. Did you, you watch that show? I, unfortunately, we all watched yeah. The Idol. Thank the God they pulled was him. like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm a fucking. I'm gonna make uh, simulated love to Johnny Depp's daughter for six episodes straight in front of people. I'm so glad they pulled that shit off of HBO, HBO yeah. Max. That's how bad it was. So that I've never seen it. It uh, it you ain't miss it. Also, oh, it, nigga. Uh, it, it's like it's like a we. It, it, dog, he looks into the camera several times. Yes, he does. The while he's is fucking the this bitch. He is the worst. He's like literally saying his... to you, "Look at me. Look what at I'm me. doing to this white Look bitch." At me. <laughs> It's like crazy. It's like it's insane. I mean, I mean, that no. nigga is wild. Bro. Here's the best part. Yeah, exactly. Here's the oh, best wow. worst part. So the weekend is a tiny nigga, right? And mm -hmm. like Lily Rose Depp's character got this, like, I guess he's a chef or whatever, and he's tall, way taller than this nigga. And he's like, Oh, you're looking slim. You you the you're asparagus, you have to have these things. And he he's always been like this. The weakest character. Hey, don't you fucking touch her. Yeah. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, you're oh, looking at my boy. bitch. That's my you bitch. You're looking at my bitch. You're looking at my bitch. It's like it's like uh it's like the beginning of the bad video. <laughs> Speaking of Presley Snipes. <laughs> you ain't bad, you, you ain't, ain't nothing. Do it wrong. <laughs> Get off of me. Get off of me. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. <laughs> 
trying to make us believe Michael Jackson was like in the fucking project. Yeah, yeah. Right, we gotta like, get ready back. Pretty soon we got we got some, something else I want to talk about. So Deadpool oh, is hitting like, over two shit. is over two hundred million. Yes. opening weekend. It's cool. at four hundred. It's 400, at four hundred global. It's at four hundred global. global. Yeah, it has crushed all the records. It is definitely gonna do a billion. Some people, yeah. Deadpool's not gonna do a billion. Shut the fuck You're up. Crazy in the mother. But here's right. the, so Marvel Studios during their Hall H panel, they gave first look <laughs> footage of Fantastic Four. It's called Fantastic Four First, first Steps. steps. Yep. They gave some more look of Captain America Brave New World, and it basically is the race to get to Tiamat, the uh, island that has adamantium in it, yeah. which I've told, again, you better watch me on Break Room. I've been telling y'all about all this shit for months. Y'all was like, no, that ain't happening. I told y'all on Break Room. I also told people on the Break Room months ago that who Dr. Doom was going to be, and people thought I was fucking lying. I said, Ro Dr. Doom is going to be Robert Downey Jr. It's going to be a variant. They was like, no, it's not. And what the fuck did they announce on Saturday? Dr. Doom is played by Robert Downey Jr. Now, here's the problem Chris and I were discussing. Nerds, some of y'all, are the are fucking insufferable. You yeah, get, I, you, there was a lot of uh, strong reactions to this cast. A lot of unnecessarily strong reactions. And it just felt reactions. like out of place. It's just like, I mean, if you niggas been wanting him back. It's like, what was wrong? Why he got to come back as Iron Man? Also, he's the perfect person. Yeah. I, I told Chris I was going to save this. Having, to having Tony Stark's variant be Doctor Doom is the perfect person to go against the Avengers because to them, the idea the Avengers in our main universe don't understand the concept of multiple universes yet. They understand time travel, not multiple universes. So to see their greatest adversary be their greatest friend it's how you fuck with him. And it's not a Tony Stark variant, I understand. Yeah, it's yeah. a Victor Von Doom variant, but he looks like Tony Stark. Sure. And so for to have for them their greatest greatest asset be their greatest enemy. It's perfect. Also, mm -hmm. everybody keep being like, oh man, they need to stick to story, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole fucking story arc where, again, Victor Von Doom's variant is Tony Stark. It is actually in the comics. There's literally two comic stories where Doctor Doom is Iron Man. Yeah, it's it's two. Yeah, the infamous Iron Man and another one. It's like yeah. Earth one one six three something. Is that in what in the What If series? The one of them is What If. Yeah, one, one of them, them is, is the other one of them is actually, in the main continuity. Is in the main continuity that of the whole fucking Von universe. Doom becomes Iron Man. Yeah, so <clears throat> you have that. So people are upset, but they also announced the next two movie. Again, I said this on New Rockstar. So now they announced officially that the Russos are coming back and directing the Avengers movies. Five and six, S yeah. Smartest fucking move ever. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Facts. Mm -hmm. they, they know what they doing. Yeah. But Avengers 5 is now ta ta uh, excuse me, titled Avengers Doomsday. That's right. Which is how you introduce Doom. And Avengers 6 is Secret Wars. A lot of people did. They were like, it was not going to be. I was like, it's Secret Wars. Yeah. The fuck are y'all talking about? I'm like, it's Secret Wars. Told people that. Now, I will not break this. I'll tell them off air, but I know what Secret Wars is already. Sam I, Jackson, right? No. <laughs> we did that oh. already. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about how Robert Downey Jr. took black job again because it was Jonathan Majors. And now this nigga done came. So that's an, and that's another thing. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> and that's another thing. Jonathan Majors shit. Everybody like, oh, y'all just going to replace Jonathan Majors? His shit is done. Y'all just right. gonna drop Kang? Yes, it's done. I always said that. That's the easiest way to introduce Doom. You show the counselor Kangs, they getting ready to do whatever the fuck they gonna do, then boom, they just explode. explode. They and killed the Kangs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, one yeah. person who could kill the counselor Kangs is Victor Von yeah, Doom. Yeah, Doom shows up like, well, no, okay. that's just over that's with. Shit. You know what I mean? Because his whole thing, for those who don't know the story, is for, for years he thinks he is the descendant of Kang. He's the yeah, he's the not the same. He black? No, well, <laughs> according to Victor in the comics, because it's the, the colors change. But in the <laughs> comics, Victor thinks he's the great, 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 great grandfather until he finds out it's actually Reed Richards and it pisses him off even more. Yeah. Because okay. then he wants to really kill. So now you're like, I need to take your powers and kill him. So you, I want your thoughts on this as someone who's not as actively uh, nerdy as Jay and myself. My thoughts on what? Um, RDJ returning to the Marvel Universe. As uh, the big bad now instead of Iron Man. I think it's, I mean, it's, I, he's good at being a bad guy. I love, like I said, I loved him in US Marshals. Mm. That nigga shot that nigga Tommy Lee all in the water. <laughs> yeah, <was> yeah. <laughs> Bow, <ow. laughs> uh, yeah, I 
don't give no fuck, man. Get your money. Yeah. I, I mean, I seen Fast and the Furious 8. This is what this sound like. <laughs> right, right. When Dom had to turn against the, the crew, well, they yeah, couldn't believe it. In those movies, they try to make us believe that John Cena is half Italian and black. <laughs> man, that nigga I, is, I, man. I'm that not, nigga his brother, man. I hear y'all. Not his brother, no. I hear y'all, but I just got pissed off with this last comment what? that's in our chat. They used Majors as scapegoat to... No, they didn't, man. He what? fucked it up. John the Major... Look, regardless of his situation, yeah, just... we saw what happened. We saw the We saw this nigga running like a sheriff. This nigga fights like a slave owner or a slave. But we saw him running. We saw all those things. But again, he was convicted of the shit. And Disney is not going to fuck up their stock by staying with him. Mm. So they're like, yo, we got to move on from this. You should cast that white woman as the big bad in the you MCU. You are <laughs> stupid. I mean, I told y'all, Ant Man 3 is so much better if you just, every time Jonathan Major flinch at a white woman. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there he goes. You again. stupid there as hell. Again. Again. <laughs> you stupid in a motherfucker. He be beefing with the white woman. He do. He do. He had Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> yeah. fucking shook, dog. He be giving her a look like, hey, bitch. No, you I don't know. think he had a You shot. know what we was doing. You, you know yeah, what we was doing. Nobody was around. But you notice how they shifted from that real quick and then maybe when she was fucking Bill Murray? I'm about to say, that she was active. They shifted from that shit. She was lonely in the fucking... Man, she was thought she was going to be by herself. She was out here getting it in. She was moving like Faith Evans. Hilarious, yo. Yo. That's hilarious. Yo. But you know what? Okay, my thoughts are this. I think I'm looking at it more meta, right? Mm-hmm. Because everyone knows after Secret Wars, they're going to reboot the whole Everything shit starts all into the way over. one universe, yes. right? So what better way, to, you, the guy who started it and made the MCU. Ends it. He ends it, right? Doesn't that make all it the sense in the world? It makes all the sense in the world. He's a great actor. We, they had already conditioned us for this shit. They did it well in Deadpool where they did the joke with uh, Chris Evans where he thinks he's Captain America and then the nigga flames up as the human torch. Yes. And you're like, what the fuck? And like, it was like... That was a perfect joke. So it's like they already made it clear that like different people can look certain ways. And to me, that was the seeding right there. There's also a storyline where it's called Doom Kills the Marvel Universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. He destroys the universe. Also, one of the nothing I forgot to bring up in that Fantastic Four footage. We got our first peek at Galactus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that motherfucker looks terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a drone show the night before where it teased them because now we're getting actual Galactus. We're not getting a cloud. We're okay. not getting some shape. We're getting actual Galactus. My only issue is like he can be, he can, you know, he can manipulate his size, but that motherfucker's supposed to be big as the planet itself. Mm. Like you can't kill him. You just send him to another dimension. So you're like, we can't do nothing with this bitch. So, it's- but. Is Doctor Strange gonna be back? Yeah, they all will come back of it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where you bring <laughs> back him. <laughs> but I think that's where you bring him back. Uh, him and uh, Charlize Theron as Cleo, right? Because they'll make they'll do the spell that whatever trap Dormammu will be used to get rid of uh, Char- Galactus. Charlize Theron go be in it. She's Cleo. That she was in the post credits. Yeah, her. she's post credit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charlie Theron be working, man. Hell yeah. Once again in Fast and Another Furious. Another Fast and Furious. Uh, uh, she had the white dress. That was that was the gross. You know, you know what's crazy Theron. too? <laughs> you know, for the longest they they had to beg. They almost for all intents and purposes had to beg her to join the MCU because she was always like, "I don't need it." Yeah, she the most famous African. That's there right. Is. She was like, I, she was like, I don't. Wait, isn't a Skojo African too? And she's South African. <laughs> Scarlett no. Johansson? Am I no. tripping? You just think her name I'm is Johansson? I'm like Delaware or something. Yeah, I'm you think her name is Johannesburg? With, with yeah, you think her name is Johannesburg? Yeah, yeah that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Scarlett Johannesburg. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking hilarious. But yeah, hilarious. she was like, I don't need it. And so also, yeah, Giancarlo Esposito, huh? he is the side. What'd you say? I said she in Fast and Furious. Who, yeah. uh, she already in a billion dollar franchise. She already, right. And she was about to do, um, she was about to do, she, she thought Atomic Blonde was going to be, remember that Atomic Blonde? Yeah, she right. thought that was going to be a whole bigger thing, but it didn't. But she was, yeah. she got old, she got the uh, the Old Guard franchise she's doing. Yeah. She's coming back for that. So she didn't need it, but it's like, now you got that Giancarlo Esposito. He's been announced officially as the Sidewinder, the head of the Serpent Society uh, in Captain America. What else was announced? So I guess everything that they didn't announce, they're saving for D23. They're saving for D23, which is, I think, in... What is D23? Disney, tw- Disney does that's their, their own... Fucking, uh, that's their convention. Comic-Con. So what they do is they really bring anything from that's going to be on Disney Plus in the movies. It's going to be... This year will be heavy Star Wars movie focus. They got a lot of new Star Wars movies coming out. You'll get all of the footage from all of the upcoming 
Marvel Disney Plus shows. So you'll get Ironheart, you'll get Daredevil, you'll get Agatha, you might get Thunder uh, some actual Thunderbolts footage. You'll get Ironheart coming out for real. Yeah. It's done. Okay, shots out to Shanaka Hudge. Yeah. I thought they scrapped Ironheart. No, absolutely not. Remember, remember when we were, remember when we were with Anthony Ramos? Yeah. That day for uh, Lawrence Brie Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next day he was going back to finish his reshoots. Okay. And Good. so they picture locked. Oh, that's and hilarious. I yeah. literally just said today it's gonna be a matter of time before that nigga joined the MCU. Yeah, he's in it. That's, oh, a, that's funny. Yeah, so why do you think he was in Transformers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I talked to <laughs> that's, a, that's your <clears throat> in transitive property. Yeah. So I can work with CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, he's yeah. gonna be in that whole crossover universe. Okay. Because he's got now he's got the MCU and he's gonna be in the Transformers GI Joe movie. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. they're doing, which they're gonna bring in mask eventually. Oh, so he's Christ, he's in, he's living. What's the okay? Wait, what's the what's the last original movie <laughs> any of us went to go see? Oh, uh, shit. I think that wasn't a most people part just of went, a franchise. No, most people sequel. went to go see most people went to go see Oppenheimer. I would guess you would say that as far as Ooh. big movies. What you Harvey? say? But Barbie, Bar- Barbie, yeah. I didn't go to the theater, but that was Barbie. the Barbieheimer. That was the Barbieheimer thing. The whole yeah. that whole big franchise. That was right before our strikes. God damn, we are it, the movie industry is cooked. Well, here's no, the thing: not. The, the, hey, James Gunn, hit me up, nigga. Trimmers in the hood. We're gonna take <laughs> this shit over. So here's the th- <laughs> so here's the thing with that. Franchise, though. But here's yeah, the thing with that too: it's like the studios are too afraid. And I was talking to a couple of execs last night. Studios themselves are too afraid to go with original content. It's why they all want IP shit. It's why they all want something that's established. That's why you have so many people making graphic novels, making books and everything else. Because once you create that, yeah. then it becomes an IP. You can sell that off. And now have that it- I do understand. Because that, that was the that was the business philosophy of my old boss. Uh, shout out Ross Ritchie. Congratulations on selling Boom Studios to Penguin Random House. Mm-hmm. That was his whole thing. He was like, yo, if you got a script, uh, you know, whatever, like bring it to Boom. We'll make the shit, make it a working fucking uh, storyboard, essentially. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, once the movie rights get made, we'll get a piece. You'll keep most of it. That's Shouts. how that movie Two Guns got made. That's how <gasps> a bunch of shit got talking made. Talking about with Denzel and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a Boom Studios original. Shouts out to uh, shout out to Ghost Machine. Them, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> shouts out to Ghost Machine, my bro Lamont McGee, Jeff Johns, head. all of them. <laughs> Ghost Machine. They they started their own. They made a they made a comic book company owned owned by and created by creators. When we gonna do our comic book, man? Yo, I love Civil War. That was a good movie. Oh. Uh, the Marvel Studio, yeah. No, 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 not that. Oh, you talking about the, the Civil War movie yeah, that just dropped recently? Yeah. yeah, that's something relatively. That's an original I- Who idea. Was that? Who's in that? Hey. No, oh, uh, uh, damn, the, the Mary Jane, the original Mary Jane from Spider Man. She Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, she oh, watched. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But look, there's so much. Me- yes, by the way, Megan is an original thing, and I'm gonna always shout out Megan. Shouts out my sister Kayla Cooper, Megan who created. She created. Man. She created a fucking horror icon. The black and a- Kayla is killing the game. I love you so much. I want to make sure I tell you that we were all together this weekend. I'm always show the blurs love. But listen, we got to get up out of here, Chris. Your birthday. Tell the people how they can send you birthday love and how they can get in touch with you. Oh yeah, hit the cash app, man. Uh, money <laughs> sign Chris, please. No, no underscore. But all social media, Chris underscore, please for sure. Pap. Oh um yeah, buy, buy a hat, nigga. Yeah. Uh, we got we <laughs> That's got the tagline. we got Kamala <laughs> out here. Kamala. Yeah, Kamala. We need we need your vote. And uh, this is the official merch for her campaign. Yeah. So yeah, show show your support by by giving me some money. That's right. Yo, somebody said Abigail. I hate that the the secret to what Abigail was was revealed in the trailer. That That's a good movie though. I did, little, I do. I watched that show. That the little girl was the vampire and it was gonna yeah. kill everybody. I mean, it's like you knew what was gonna happen, but it turned out to be fun. Y'all already know why I am. Instagram, TikTok, Mr. J Washington. Please follow that. Uh, before the bell, we about to do a new episode right after this, so make sure you stay tuned to that. The OnlyFans coming up. My announcement. I forgot to mention that. For those who didn't catch on to what the announcement was on Tuesday, I will be a part of the Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Ranger Cruise going down next January. So it'll be myself, Anya Zova, RG City, RJ City, excuse me, doing stand up, hosted by Brad Williams. It's a list of AEW and WWE and Hall of Fame superstars will be aboard. It's going to be fun. Um, information can be found in my link in bio on my Instagram, mm-hmm. and I am so excited for that. I'm, I'm Chris Jericho's the homie, as well as a bunch of the wrestlers on the thing. My homeboy Nick Nimitz will be there. It's going to be so fun. So yeah. 
I'll be a part of the Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager. Go to my Instagram, hit the link on bio for that. Yo, to everybody who showed us love today, we appreciate y'all. We'll holler at y'all next week. Take care. We out. Peace.